Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, we are here for part two. Part two. We're back at Disneyland for part two. Yeah. And so, come get lost with us. Yeah, let's go get lost in the night at Disneyland. Well, we made it back to the park after hanging out and taking some time off to just chill at the hotel. And we're gonna go check out Disney in the dark. And our first stop is Hanging with Mr. Lincoln. So one of the really cool things that Disney does from time to time is they will have these like mini exhibits or little mini museums that they set up. Uh, in Orlando, you can usually find those in Hollywood Studios, but here at Disneyland, they do it in the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. And we were lucky enough to catch the Haunted Mansion um, archives. And they also had a really cool nod to the Muppets Haunted Mansion. And if you are a fan of anything Haunted Mansion at Disney, then you really should check out that movie. It really has a lot of throwbacks and it was, it was phenomenal. Yeah, it's a really great movie, especially if you have Disney Plus, check it out. Here are some of the actual props that were used in the movie The Muppets Haunted Mansion, which I thought was really cool. We've got Miss Piggy's um, Madame Leota ball. Another really cool thing to check out when you're in Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is the project models for the Disneyland park from way back in its conceptual phase. Okay, so now that we've checked out the lobby and all the cool things, we're gonna go inside and go hang out with Mr. Lincoln. So let's go get into the showroom. So Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is a wrap, and now we're gonna go walk down the middle of Main Street, USA and go check out the castle all lit up. Oh, 
The castle is super awesome and there's just something about a castle being lit up at night, but we're gonna go head to Batu next. Document your interrogations. We try. Yeah, we, we try. try. I like it rough, so, you know. <laughs> now that we've wrapped up on a wonderful excursion to Batu, we are gonna go get some Disneyland mint jujus. <laughs> There's a strawberry mint juju. And there is the regular mint juju. Alright, Nancy, what are you doing? Alright guys, so uh, this is gonna be my first Disneyland mint julep and I got the strawberry mint julep. Strawberry. So uh, there's no straws, so we're gonna sip it. We're gonna try. It's very refreshing. Very like hint of strawberry. A little bit of mint. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what let's see what you think about yours. Alright, so I got a mint juju. It smells very minty. Alright. It's very like light taste. Uh, it's got a nice little kick of mint though. Uh, and very refreshing. I, I really like this. This is really good. Yeah. Okay, so try my mint juju. Alright, I'm gonna try this and Gary's gonna try my strawberry. Mm. Ooh, yours is really good too. I like the mint and strawberry smell she's got on hers. It's very, very uh, interesting. I like it. Yeah, this is good. This is the highlight of my day right here in terms of food. Very refreshing on the strawberry. It tastes exactly the same, but with a little kick of strawberry to it, I think. And they're both awesome. Yeah. So if you like strawberry, get this one. If you just want like a mint or like a really refreshing drink, the regular juju. Probably really amazing. Yeah, and they're only I think like five dollars and legit tip. Don't stand in the standby line, just mobile order. Like there's yeah. literally like it's literally thirty people deep. Uh, no, I think it's about fifty to hundred people deep. It's, it's deep. It's, it's long line. It's all the way past the train station, all the way back to the yeah. back of the building. It's yeah. Crazy. Uh, it only took us like five minutes. Yeah, I mobile ordered, we got over here, I said we were ready, and uh, it was ready. So worth it though. Definitely yeah. check it out. It's in the back side uh, towards Haunted Mansion on the... Uh, Behind the train? Like, what's the market called again? Uh, this is the New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans Square. Square. Yeah, so definitely check it out. Yeah. Alright, now we are going to dig into these peppermint beignets. The bag smells like peppermint candy cane. It does. Fantastic. It's, this might be intense. Or it might be the best thing we've ever had. 
I don't know. But you can get peppermint or you can get an assortment of, of, you can get the regular with the peppermint mixed in. You can get like three of each. And you can also get a chocolate dip. We didn't get the chocolate dip this time just because we didn't know what the peppermint tastes like and all that stuff. Yeah. All right. So do we want to split it? The first one? Yeah. And then we'll cheers. Cheers to a good rest of the night. Bob. Wow. This my, mint, my, my mouth, my mint, my mouth is very minty. Uh, wow. So peppermint wakes you up. Just, you know, an uh, interesting fact, and this is uh, this woke me up. It's uh, it's intense. It's an intense peppermint flavor, guys. It's really good, but it's really intense. So if you don't like peppermint, when you bite into a peppermint patty, do you get the sensation that? Anybody remember those commercials from like back in the day? I do feel like I'm on the outs with the breeze in my hair, but yeah, really good. But very, very pepperminty. Again, mm -hmm. if you don't like mint or peppermint, do not recommend. Mm -hmm. Just get the regular beignets because they're fantastic as well. But these are really good if you like mint. All right, so we're gonna finish our meal and then uh, we'll see we... what else we get into. Yeah, we're probably gonna go to Pirates after this. Well, you have to tell me you other Disneyland veterans, uh, why is it so dark in Disneyland? I mean, it's just like crazy dark here all the time. This is the French market. All right guys, so while we were eating our beignets, we just couldn't help but smell like these awesome smells that were coming from the French market next door. So we decided to go in and order a few things and we decided to get the jambalaya because it looked really good. And it, basically it's, so, it's uh, shrimp, chicken, and andouille sausage with onions and peppers on top of rice. So I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna start off with the chicken because that's what my fork grabbed, so. Wow, for a theme park, quick service food. I'm a little blown away by this. There is actual flavor, taste. I'm also really hungry, but like, a little bit of spice to it, not a lot. It is really good. I can't wait to see what Gary thinks. So I'm gonna try some of the jambalaya. I'm gonna start with the shrimp. It has a really nice like tomato seasoning. Um, the shrimp's good. Uh, it's tasty and it kind of tastes like um, uh, my grandmother used to make a recipe kind of like this. It tastes kind of like it. Pretty good for quick service, right? Like, Yeah, in comparison to like the hamburgers and chicken, this is definitely leaps and bobs. So if you want an actual meal, French market for sure. A legit tip too. During lunchtime, this place was super packed. And by packed, I mean like thousands of people. It seemed like we're waiting in line for this red place. So make sure you move order. Also, you can go up and order too. Right. And, and at the end of the night, it was there was like nobody in there. Right. Yeah. During lunchtime, it was super packed. Right now, there's like nobody there, other than at the Mandrilla Bar. But yeah. All right. We'll get back to you and show you guys the dessert. Now it is dessert time for the second time because we already have those menus. Um, but now we're gonna dig into the Haunted Mansion cookie. And this thing is huge, as you can see. Like, I'm gonna put it next to my face. Like, this thing's big. Um, so I think literally our game plan to eating this is just gonna be like, I'm just gonna eat it. So here we go. It's minty. It's minty. But it's good. The cookie part is like really small. And the stuff around the edges is the minty part, and I have it. Let's see if I can taste this little part. And it's like strawberry in the middle where the red is. I'm gonna take one more bite and see if I can get the strawberry with the mint stuff. So, let's try one more time. I was successful. Yeah, all the flavors really blend together. I think you'll like this. Oh, they're good. Thanks. Try the bow first. White chocolate? 
Yeah, with a little bit of like a strawberry kick. Though. Very subtle though, mostly white chocolate. All right, let's do this thing. You're like deep in thought over there. Took a big bite. Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of flavor. Um, you get a little bit of the mint, I guess. Yeah, you get a mint. The strawberry is really strong if you get a nice bite of strawberry. The sugar cookie though doesn't have much of a flavor at all. I didn't really taste much from the sugar cookie. You're getting a lot of strawberry, a lot of the mint, and then the white. I think that's a white chocolate too. It's not bad overall. It's definitely a huge cookie. Uh, it is eight dollars, seven something, eight dollars. So it's a little bit expensive, but it's really kind of cute and really big and definitely worth sharing. So check it out at the French Market. All right, guys. Well, the muscles are fine because it is cold outside. Um, but we just got off fire and I have to tell you guys, a uh, crazy thing happened. So I was wearing my glasses and we went down the second, or no, the first drop. And the water splashed. And not only did it splash me in the face, but it hit me directly in my eye. I spent the next like two minutes with my eye covered and it like water. So uh, we'll see if I get pink eye tomorrow. Crazy, right? What are the odds? Um, let us know in the comments below. You ever gotten uh, water in your eye at the Disneyland? Yeah. yeah. So now we're about to go on the train and uh, we'll show you guys what that's like. To those just joining us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. We're now entering Splash Mountain, rumored to be the location of the one and only Laughing Place. If you look real hard, you just might find it. It's where the critters are celebrating a zippity doo dah day. Of them here in Critter Gear on their fun filled adventures. back up at the front of the park and we're just gonna hang out, watch some fireworks, and do a little wrap up shopping at the end of the night and just kinda hang out on Main Street. We were lucky and caught all the characters in their holiday costumes coming out. So on our way out of Disneyland, we happened to have catched the diorama uh, live actions that are in the windows of the, what I would call the Emporium, but I believe at Disneyland it's not called the Emporium. And during the holidays in Magic Kingdom, they actually decorate these to be the Christmas Carol. And in Disneyland, they are all these different Disney films. And it was just, honestly, I think we spent like almost an hour just waiting and watching all of these play through a few times. It was actually quite magical. Yeah, let's take a look at, uh, I think there's about six windows to take a look at.
see, that's funny. Oh no, Aladdin, grab the lamp before the monkey touches the cloud. Oh, the barber picked them. That concludes our night. Yeah. I thought it was a really pretty awesome night. It definitely had some vibes of our Orlando days. Yeah, it definitely reminded us of the Orlando days. Grabbing a quick bite to eat, riding a bunch of rides, just really going out there and having fun. Yeah. Uh, definitely a fun trip to Disneyland at night. Yeah, no expectations. We literally, we showed up, um, didn't even have plans for where we were going to eat other than the mint juleps. Right. But um, we did get to check out the French market, which was really cool. Yes. Really great food. The mint juleps, the mint jujus, as I call them in the video, were fantastic. The uh, jambalaya was great. Surprising. The, the reef cookie was even good. It was a little bit like a uh, tropical fruit punch meets uh, mint. So interesting taste. It was taste. minty. Yeah, it was like a minty Sup night. Super huge that you could slip between people. And then, of course, we got to ride Rise again. Yeah, that was cool. So we love Rise. And then we... Uh, we did Pirates again. Uh... Yeah, we got to ride pirates again in the dark, which was nice because our eyes didn't have to really adjust as much as it did during the daylight, yeah. which is a legit chip, legit tip. Um, if you are going on a dark ride, 
not that you can't write it during the daytime, but it is a lot easier at night because your eyes are kind of already adjusted um, when you go into that dark space. It just, uh, you're able to see things quicker. And at Disneyland, definitely, uh, let us know in the comments below, but it seems a lot darker in Disneyland than it does in Disney World. I mean, we haven't been to Disney World in about two years now because it's been a little bit, but man, it was really dark, especially like around like Splash and stuff like that. It was hard to see people. Really difficult to see. I mean, really the only thing you saw with the scooters, the main street is obviously really well mm -hmm. lit up because there's tons of lights there all the time. But the other areas were kind of dark and kind of dim, which mm -hmm. gave it a different feel and different perspective, but it does kind of make you nervous, especially with all the, like, the EVs and stuff riding around, uh, gonna run right into you type of feel. Uh, interesting. Yeah, um, we rode the train, which was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. And what else did we do? I think that was pretty much it. We did a little bit of shopping, as you can see, threw the bag on the bed. Um, make sure you guys check out our future video, uh, the pen video, where we're going to do mystery pen unboxing. And we're going to show you these really cool pens that I've kind of collected yeah, over. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you see the updates when we do those videos and post them. Yeah, um, looking forward to that a whole lot. And uh, make sure to like this video, too. Yeah, please like the video. And we'll link the other day, so the beginning of our day, we'll link mm -hmm. it up there in case you missed that video too, so you can check that out. Because again, uh, this is our first trip to Disneyland, super fun. We were there probably about 12 hours, 12, 13 hours in our Disneyland day between the two videos. So definitely a really fun experience, a really different park than Magic Kingdom. It's different. Uh, but really, really fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun. We definitely look forward to coming back in the new year for sure. Don't know how much we're going to do, but we definitely have some big plans to try and come back and ride the roller coasters that we didn't ride this time. So again, um, ring that notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you know when we do those videos. Yeah, so we will, I think that's going to do it, right? That's going to take care of us for this one. So we'll see yeah. you on the next one. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Come get lost with us again. Bye. Bye.